Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week is quite stressful, so I am doing a Q&A video. And I asked you guys on Instagram what questions you had for me, if they were personal or about my chinchillas or my animals. And I got a whole bunch of questions. I probably won't be able to go through all of them, but I will get through as many as I can. There are quite a few cute ones. Now, if you guys do want to get in on the questionnaires and all the fun we have on Instagram, I will have my Instagram in the description bar below. So make sure not to miss out on that. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel. I post content all about my fluffy little creatures, especially my fluffy little chinchillas. So if you're here for chinchillas, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will be here next week with another chinchilla video for you. Now, my first question actually comes from another pet YouTuber. I will put her name on the screen for you to go check her out. She specializes in rabbits and dash hounds as well as other animals, and she has a very fun channel, so go check her out. Now, her question, I actually got this same question, variants of the same questions, a whole bunch. So her question is, what made you get your first chinchilla? And there's a full entire story, as you can tell, because so many people ask me this. And I was actually planning on making a video. I had it filmed and everything, and it was gonna be my first video to YouTube. And then I decided that I am too awkward to tell the story at that time. So I scrapped it, but I can tell you that story now. So I got into chinchillas when I was in college and I am 26 now. So that was about seven ish years ago when I got my first chinchilla. And the reason why I got into it is because I was living with a roommate who loved them and just talked about them all the time, talked about getting one a whole bunch. And at that point, when I started doing research into it, I figured that this was the pet for me. This was an animal that was going to be asleep while I was at work. This is an animal that I can interact with. And I'm pretty sure I about died when I saw them roll in dust. So at that point, I decided that this was going to be a an animal that was gonna be my life. So I did a whole bunch of research, which didn't go well because there's so much misinformation about chinchillas. And I ended up getting my first chinchilla, which was Twix. And I got Twix from a pet store. And I highly suggest you do not get a chinchilla from a pet store. And uh, Twix is the reason why. I had Twix for about three or four years and one day she became very sick and there was nothing that they could do for her so we had to put her down at a very young age and oh i that was bad for me i had a lot of issues with that so i very much advocate for getting chinchillas from a breeder so that you don't have issues like that you don't have genetic problems that you get from buying chinchillas from pet store. This question was kind of already answered, but it says, which chinchilla did you get first? So my first chinchilla was Twix, but she has passed away. So the next chinchilla that I got was Lola, and then I got Mally, and then after that, I got Piglet, and then Harley Quinn, and then Bunny. So those are my six chinchillas that I've had over the seven years, and I still have five of them today. Okay, so my next question is, where can I buy things to make my chinchillas cage fun? My answer to you is Etsy. Etsy has so many chinchilla vendors and it's always being updated. So you always have new stuff to look at. My favorite shops from Etsy are Chintopia. Chintopia is where I got all of my castle themed items. She's really great. I got those castle themes custom made by her. So she does do custom build stuff and she has really cool stuff just in her shop that you don't have to get custom made. And I would suggest that for some very creative wooden hides and whatnot. 
My next one is Pandemonium Pets. Pandemonium Pets, I believe, is known for their wheels. They have a lot of variety of wheels. They have colored wheels, so you can add color to your cage. They also have like metal shelves that you can add color as well. And they have wooden stuff, treats, and so many things that are just specifically made for chinchillas. So they're a very great shop on Etsy. Chin Villa is where I like to get my toys. They have a large plethora of toys and they have fun toys. And they have a lot of toys that are colorful and like themed. So you can make your cage really cute and wonderful. For your fleece items, my favorite shop is Adorkable Pets. Just because they have a large variety, they have beds, they have hammocks, they have liners. So again, you can get more color and texture into your chinchilla's cage. Because from what I can tell, chinchillas actually do really like least they like to sleep in it because why would you want to sleep on a hard wooden shelf you're gonna want to sleep in a nice cozy thing I would say those are the shops that are gonna make your cage more fun I also like Meow Chin that's where I get my water bottles from that fill from the top and are the stick water bottles so they don't leak I really like that shop she has more metal stuff and ceramic stuff that you can add to your chinchillas cage as well. So those are probably my top Etsy shops. My next question is, does your doggo and or cat bother the chinchillas at all? Like bark or try to get at the chins? I get this question a lot. And first of all, yes, my dog would bark and try and chase the chinchillas. She has a very high prey drive, but they do not interact ever. They do not interact with my dog. They do not interact with my cats period. They live in their separate room and the reason for this is because first of all both a cat and a dog are predatory animals and putting predatory animals with prey animals can cause a stress response for the prey animals. They don't understand that these animals aren't going to eat them because they look like predators. So this will a lot of times cause issues with them, will cause a lot of stress and nerves in your chinchillas. So that's number one. Number two is because they're predatory animals, it only takes one time to injure my chinchilla. And I have had times where my chinchillas somehow escaped out of their cage, and that would be a very bad situation if they escaped and my other animals found them before I could. That's number two. And the last one is the most important because I think it's the most dangerous and people don't realize this. With cats, cats harvest a lot of bacteria. And this is found in their litter box and this bacteria is deadly to chinchillas. So definitely with cats, I would highly suggest having them in a separate room than your chinchillas because cats, they're, they're dangerous. They're dangerous to chinchilla. A lot of people say that it's okay, they don't interact, and my cat doesn't care. It only takes once. So I would just suggest having them separate, if at all possible. If you can't, have some sort of barrier to protect your chinchilla to give them space in between, like give them a little bit of privacy, but at the same time, they should ideally be in their own separate room. What was your inspiration reasoning behind the names of each of your pets? So I'm gonna do a few. First off is Jellybean. Jellybean, I got her name from Riverdale. There's a girl in there named Jellybean. And I thought it was fitting because it's kind of like a naughty pony name. And if you're not a horse girl and don't know what that means, Ponies, because they're just so cute and small, they get treated differently. So a lot of times they think they can bend the rules because they're just so cute, they can never do anything wrong. So I thought that was a perfect name for a Corgi because they're like two inches off the ground and they're gonna be fussed over their entire lives. So I was like, Jelly Bean, that's it. <laughs> the next one is Shinzi. Shinzi has a very interesting story to her name. Her full name is Shinigami, which is a death reaper from Japanese culture. I got this name from a lot of different animes, and the reason why it's so dark is because she kind of looks like a little gremlin creature, and we shortened it to Shinzi because Shinzi is the name of the hyena from The Lion King, and that's kind of obvious because she looks like a hyena, like she has that texture and color pattern to her fur. 
So that's Shinzi. But uh, that cat eats so slow because she needs to lick things to death. She doesn't do anything, she just licks things. Piglet got her name. Actually, my boyfriend named Piglet. And if you don't know why Piglet's name is Piglet, please look at this photo and remind yourself that she looks exactly like a pig. Which also, I wanna bring up the fact that a lot of people ask me about this, about Piglet. Piglet has an earring and it's literally just an ear tag that has like an identification number on it so that the breeder knows which chinchilla this is. Because with gold bars, which is what she is, she has that like whitish gold fur. With gold bars, a lot of the babies are gonna look the same. So it's hard to tell the difference, especially when they're young and changing every day. So a lot of times breeders will put ear tags, which they don't bother them at all. It's literally like how they do with cows. They just pierce their ears and put tags on there so that they can tell them apart. And that's the reason why Piglet has an earring. <laughs> I figured I needed to say that in one of my videos because I got asked it so often because I don't think people see that. But yeah, when you get a gold bar at a bigger breeder, they put ear tags in so that they know the difference. We got Bunny. Bunny's name is Bunny because she's floppy ears. Matilda, her name is Mally because she looks like a little old lady and I thought Matilda was a good name for that. Um, I don't know why I named Quinn Quinn. Probably because she's sassy. And Lola got her name from Jared because I wanted to name her Pablo and that's a boy's name. So that didn't work out. But I do call her Baba Black Sheep because it's just so stinking cute. Will you ever make your own chinchilla outfits? If so, when can we expect a video? You see, I don't know if I will ever make chinchilla outfits. Sorry to disappoint you, but I know someone who does and she has a YouTube channel where she does it and it's just so dang it cute. She also has an Instagram where she has even more content with her chinchillas in cute little outfits. So I will put her name up on the screen and go follow her, go subscribe to her YouTube channel and maybe she'll post more videos of chinchilla outfits. So check her out. Next question. What are your top two favorite toys for your chinchillas? I'm really boring, okay? My favorite toy is an apple stick. Ooh, ooh, no, I have a better idea. So I know this girl on Instagram and she gives her chinchillas bamboo sticks. And that would be so cool. I would love to try bamboo just because I think it'd be a very interesting experiment to see what they do with it. But what I normally get, I normally get apple sticks or willow balls just because they're easy and you can get them anywhere. My favorite toy shops, like on Etsy, is Chin Villa. I also like Twilight Chinchilla, but you just need to make sure you don't have any paper items. That's the only thing with toys is you want to make sure the toys that you get are safe. They have like safe color applications and they are a safe material for your chinchillas to chew on. So yeah, I will have a toy video, but there's so much that goes into toys and I wanna make sure I give you all accurate information. So yeah, next question. What are your chinchilla's favorite snacks? So this is very much me guessing, but I think Lola's favorite snack is apple sticks or Cheerios. And then Harley Quinn, she definitely has a specific taste. She doesn't like certain things. She, I think, likes salty stuff, so she likes Cheerios. And then Piglet, she likes the sweeter stuff, and she prefers the rose hips. She also eats critical care cookies, which half of my chinchillas ate and half of them didn't. Which, that, with that being said, I think Matilda or Mally, her favorite snack is those critical care cookies. Next question. When they curl up, they look like ice cream scoops. Can you Photoshop them on different cones? Next question. Do you think your chinchillas have dreams and aspirations? But of course, have you seen my thumbnails? You have Maui, who's trying to buy her first house. You have Lola, who is a starving artist. And then of course you have Piglet, who's trying to decide between being a witch and being an angel. Go check out these videos. 
Okay, so next question is, can I give my chinchillas carrots, salads, or fruits? Chinchillas cannot have any fresh fruits or vegetables. And I know of a few people that have gone to their vet and their vet has told them to give them greens. Chinchillas cannot digest fresh fruits and vegetables because first of all, they are indigenous to a desert-like area and they don't have access to that. So their digestive systems are not equipped to handle fresh fruits and vegetables. So when they eat them, a lot of times what will happen is those vegetables will cause gases in their stomach and they can't pass the gases. They can't burp or throw up. So if they have any issues in their stomach, a lot of times it causes things like GI stasis, which can be fatal. So you want to avoid fresh fruits and vegetables and just stick with their hay and their pellet formula. That's all they need. If you guys enjoyed this Q&A, make sure to give this a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments and I will make sure to do more Q&As in the future. I would also really enjoy doing a Q&A day on my Instagram. So again, if you guys are interested, that will be linked below. However, in my next video, I'm sure I'll be doing something with chinchilla. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Jivey, so cool. Well, I guess it's the end of the video because Jellybean wants me to play fetch with her. So, I'll see you guys next week. My next question. How many chinchillas does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Let me show you. And then we need to shoot a video downstairs where I go, one, two, we go a one, a two, a three, a four, a five. It takes five.